Welcome. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate, and today we are going to be creating a post with the Gator Website Builder. So let's get started. My.gator.com Edit Site Blog Manage Posts Create New Post So I've copied all my information for the YouTube video that I am going to be creating a post for. This is from my actual YouTube channel and now I am just going to use the exact information that I have already worked on in my post. The date, author, and tags. So the information that I have for my description here And then control V on your computer. Okay, so, so here now I'm just going to close that down and do this in a full screen. So here you want to have a heading. And this is another highlight. And I'm just going to now make a subheading with this. Here, as long as you have highlighted your text, you can use your bold You can also use italics. You could underline. This will underline all that you have highlighted. If you want to take anything out, you would click back and that takes out the bold. That'll take out the italics and that will take out the underline. This is highlight. If you are for instance, doing a sale, I'm just going to take that out. Your text needs to be highlighted in order for you to edit it. Let's say you're doing a, a sale. Say I am saying that it is $4.84. Changing it to a sale of $3.84 and 84 cents. You would then highlight your price and then click strike through so that you know people will see that it's no longer this price, it's now this price. This is just an example. A line so you would highlight what you want to, it says the text alignment is to the left. Here it is to the center. It is to the right. Next you have the text direction. As long as it is highlighted, 
at any time, whenever you highlight anything, it doesn't matter if it's a line, one word. You are able to edit as long as you highlight. Highlight, click bold. You can use italics and also underline. If you want to highlight, highlight your text and click on the highlight. This is a strike through. This is say you offer or a sales an example for 84. Highlight it. Use a strike through be the 384. Align your text. This is the align to the left. This is the center. and align to the right. This is text direction, which is like align text, but if I light your text and you use this editing box here, the text is going from left to right. Here it will be going from right to left. You can add numbered bullets by clicking the number and at any time you can take the numbers out bulleted list time you can take the numbers out. increase your indent have your text highlighted and at any time if you make a mistake click the undo and you can undo to your last save. Subscript, highlight this, and I use subscript by two. This is going to make it a smaller subscript, subscript, and bold. At any time, you can add a link by highlighting your text, clicking on the link. You could add a website page a URL which can be your YouTube channel, can be a YouTube video, can be uh, any other URL link that you have. And this is where the Google Docs, where I have all my links here, in a document and I'm just going to pull that up. Don't have it right now. Just going to open that in a new window. So this document will have all of my links in it. R L. Choose this one. Just going to click in, and I am going to copy the link. Copy. Make sure that it's copied. Go back into here. 
and paste it in. And then say I want to open it in a new tab and click OK. At any time, when you highlight, you can click on the link and choose. You can use this if you want to say you do bold, italics, underline but you want to remove all of the, f the formatting. You would just click. And that will remove your formatting. And you have to highlight. You can't just click this because it won't do anything. You need to highlight what you want to remove the formatting. And this is your undo. And this is your redo. And redo is if I accidentally undo it, and then I want to redo it. This one is Add Element. When you click into Add Element, you will see you can add an image, a video, a line, heading one, heading two, or a paragraph. Say you wanted to add an image. You would then place your cursor in the area that you would like to add the element of an image. Click into image. Stock images, and which you have many categories to choose from, all different types of free pictures that you can choose from. My images. Now these are images that I have already uploaded and I have used. Linked images. These are images that you already have uploaded that have a link. Like for instance, this one. And you can always just add another image. You can upload it from your computer or you can add an image by uploading it from a link. And if you watch the video tutorial, Adding Images, I go into more detail of adding image from a link. OK, so I'm just going to go into My Images and click on this one and Place. This is my toolbar for the image. I put the Alt tag in to look at my status and make sure it is in draft. And you can also change your image. With the stock image, my images are linked images. I'm just going to use this guy. He's a linked image and put that in there. You can also change the size. So if you wanted to make your image bigger or smaller, that would be the way to do it. And how do you want your image? Do you want it to the left, in the middle, at the end? 
Do you want the image to appear beside the, the text, on the other side of the text, or in the middle? If you wanted to add another element, and I'm just going to go into here, put my cursor where I want that to go. And now I am going to get my link and copy it. I'm going to click Add Element, and I want to add a video. So I'm going to click into Video, and there would be already a your video URL there. I'm going to change that to My Video URL, and click in and go OK. So now you will see the editing come up again, and you will then have a choice to have your video with no text around it, with the text on the left, or the text on the right. I'm going to now that in the center. There we go. Now this one is going to go in the center. Okay. Now, the other elements that you can add is a line. This will add a line where your cursor is. Here is the line. You can also move the line. Anything can be moved. You can also add a heading one. And this is what it will appear. So I'm going to cut that. And then I'm going to highlight that. Go in there, and you have to use Control V, and then here you can see what you can do. You can bold it. You can use italics. You can underline. You can also use your text alignment. Align left, center, or align right. Or align right. I'm just going to use the center. Okay. Which will appear like this. This is your subheading. And always, whenever you are doing anything, you must always highlight. And if you want to paste something, it is Control V. Change your normal to a heading or a subheading, a paragraph. Make sure that my cursor is in a place where I can add something, and then you would just click there. And then this would now be a new paragraph that you could Then when you are done, 
you see that this is now a draft, but you want to preview your post. So you would then click preview. You will then see what your post looks like. Preview looks like of my post. This is me using the highlight, the underline, the italics, the bold, and also the links, as well as the other editing. Then you would then finish. You could also look at what your post will look like in mobile. Let's click mobile. And you can see what needs to be changed in it. This is my post here. Finish the preview. save my post. Post save successfully. Now, you see here, this is the picture. So we want to change this image. Go to my images. Yeah, choose her. Okay, and then place. Also, here is your advanced options. Friendly page URL. Okay, and the cover image description. Going to save my post. Going to click featured and pinned. And now I am going to make sure that it is published by clicking published. Post save successfully to my editor. This is my post. At any time, I can preview it. I could edit it, I could delete it, delete it. And it will show me that it is pinned and it is featured. At any time is where it shows you all of your post, your pinned post, your featured post, your posts that you have published, and your drafts. And I have no drafts. So I hope this has been helpful in helping you to be able to connect your YouTube channel and the Gator website builder and how it can be able to help you to be able to grow your YouTube channel by using organic traffic. Stay tuned for the next video tutorial. This is DIY Affiliate saying have yourself a wonderful evening.